the huge packing process begins. Channel 3's Scott Haney is now live at our drop-off location in Hartford with more on just how this massive amount of supplies is now going to get from Connecticut to Poland. Scott? Kara is unbelievable. We are live at the Ukrainian home in Hartford. Say hello, everybody. Hello. All these wonderful volunteers, they're just amazing people. You guys are doing such an awesome job. We love you. Connecticut loves you, and we support you so strongly. Yay! Yay! All right. I'm here with Martha Boyko. She is uh, your your title. You you're the sister of Myron, but you have your own title. Yes, actually, I'm also a member of the Ukrainian National Home and UUARC and Ukrainian Youth Association. Tell us how the process is going. There is so we just carved out a tiny space for us to do this live shot. That's it. The process is going really, really well. It's kind of lots of moving parts, but things are getting organized. It may not look it at the moment but these people are doing a great job. This is the food sorting area, and we've got a storage um, container in the front of the Ukrainian home, which will help store many of the items because things will be shipped uh, as quickly as possible and based on need. Natasha, tell me about your family. How are you? Uh, I'm good. My family is not so good. Uh, obviously, nobody is safe. I keep on texting and calling my friends, my family, in, like every couple of hours. And uh, you just do like, hey. And if they respond, like, you're okay. If they don't respond, you kind of start shaking like a leaf. Katrina, tell me about your family. Everybody's there except for you, right? Uh, yes, all my family there. And um, I just spoke to them like probably 20 minutes ago oh, and good, they good. they're fighting okay and they're not gonna give up and they're doing everything to help soldiers and just keep them running and save our country God bless the both of you Martha what do we need what do we well, need um, right now the need is uh, primarily financial donations um, also small box small boxes uh, medical supplies and supplies for military, which would include uh, new items like new thermals, new socks, things like that. Um, food, we're doing okay, um, and we'll see how it plays out, but really it's financial to either UUARC or also the Ukrainian National Home, which is helping with the shipping costs okay. and no logistics. More, no more baby supplies? Um, I think we're, we're, good, for we're good for now. We're good for uh, now. Used clothes, we can't accept no any more. No more used or clothing. Use, a lot of used items we can't accept. Okay. Uh, sleeping bags are still okay if they're newer. Um, but again, it's primarily medical, um, military, and then we're going to be shipping out uh, baby. Can I give you a hug? Absolutely. That's the one thing that we needed. Thank you. Thank we you. love these people. They are doing such a great job. Thank you again for everybody. Carol, we're going to send it back to you in the studio live at the Ukrainian home in Hartford. Scott Haney, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.